In this demo, I'm going to show you how to control a couple fans with the smart servo controller. I'm going to use two fans, the servo control board, the breadboard, a couple relays, temperature sensor, um, LED, resistor, and a pair of diodes. The goal is to get the smart servo control board to turn on and off fan number one and number two with the temperature sensor. If this is our temperature gauge, I want fan 1 to turn on at this point, fan 2 to turn on at a higher temperature, and then to add some hysteresis, I want both fan 1 and 2 to turn off at this lower temperature here. And we'll add a LED that will blink on and off because blinking LEDs are fun. First we connect the temperature sensor to the smart servo control board. We'll add our relays and put freewheeling diodes on them. Hook up our LED. We hook up our relays to the output channels. And then we make a common ground connection. We're going to power the fans from a separate power supply at a higher voltage. Let's wire that up. Now we connect our USB, power it on, and get to programming. We set our input to analog and our output channels to digital. We set the output state to off so it keeps the last value that was on them. Now we create a rule for the blinking LED. It will be a state output and we set it to toggle and then we set a condition for every second for it to toggle. Add a rule to turn on fan number one. A state output again. We set channel two to active and the condition will be when the input value on temperature sensor is above our target voltage and we'll put that to 0 0.96 volts create a new rule this one will turn fans 1 and 2 off so again state output we add two output channels 2 and 3 to the off value and this will be when the input is less than 0.8 volts, so we have a little bit of hysteresis there. Add our fourth rule to turn on uh, fan number two, set the value to one, and then we let set the, the turn on temperature to be higher. Uh, you can see that the rules are out of order and that doesn't really matter too much. Program it. Uh, let's save it too as a reference. And if we go to our live view, we can see the output one is toggling on and off. So you can see the LED blinking. And if I put a soldering iron next to the temperature sensor, it heats up and turns on. You can see the voltage change. And then when I heat up even hotter, fan number two will turn on. So let's cool down to the temperature sensor. And we'll see that uh, both fans turn off at the same time. Our rules worked.